Hi Scouts, uh, we're going to do a tripod today, okay, and we're actually going to do a longer leg tripod, so we'll do shear lashings on that, uh, and then we'll go to the tripod. Okay, a tripod would be like, like this, and you have a tripod lashing around there. That can then be used for maybe cooking over, over a fire, or we can make shelters by coming off here to another one. Uh, so various ways, or, or even bridge buildings, so there's various ways that we can use our tripod. Okay, but with this one, we're going to do longer legs, so we're going to do shear lashings on each of the legs. So I've got, I've got six broom handles, and I'm going to take two and do just using, just using basic. Uh, baling twine I'm going to do shear lashings here so start the shear lashing with a clove itch and around the worm as we've done on earlier ones when we've been doing uh, I think we did that we're doing a square lashing on a previous video. Okay, so start that clove edge round the one, cross it back round and then through in line with the first one. Okay, introduce the other the other piece. And then wrap round, wrap round both of them. One, two, three. And so you go going round three times. Come inside to do the frapping turns. One, pull that tight round again, second frapping turn, and pull that tight, and then come through, and we'll tie off here with two little hitches or a clove hitch, so you come through there, tuck it under once, and pull tight, bring it round again, and tuck it through, and pull that tight. So we can do another shear lashing at this end. So round we go, cross the first time round, and this time go round and through in line with the first one. Let's just do that once more. So across, so lay it round, like a cross. This time you come through and you put it in line with the original one. There's the original one, there's the one you've gone round. There's your clove itch. And once, twice, three times, and then frapping turns through that once, and bring it through. Start to find it'll be difficult to get through now, providing you've tied it up nice and tight. One frapping turn, and come round and get this one through. It's your second frapping turn. I'll just tie off against the other tail there. One. Got two shear lashings. One, two. I'm going to make another two legs. Each leg will have two, two shear lashings on and then we'll make the tripod. Okay, 
So there I've got my three, uh, three lengths, each one with two shear lashings on it. I'm now going to do a tripod lashing at the top. Once again, if I come down, come down a reasonable distance, such that when I open it up, I've got some space. Okay, so I'm going to start again with a clove etch. And then we're going to go over, under, back round, going over, under, over, under. Just try to keep that as tight as you can. Let's see, I'm just making that through. Open them up a little bit if that helps. We'll do this like four times. Alright. Okay. Just go back round. Over, under, over, under. As we go around. Alright. Once we've done that. Once again, we're going to do our frapping turns. Okay, so between those two, bring it round. One, and again, bringing it round there. Two. Next joint between there. One, and again, two. Round. and then just finishing off with a clove edge so a little loop, pull it through and around again take that and pull it through and we'll now stand this up okay So, okay, that's, that's great there. We can put a cross member here if we're building a shelter, or we can hang a pot off that down to a fire so we can do cooking. So we've got a tripod, but to lift the tripod up that bit more for the shelter or for cooking, we've done shear lashings on the legs. Okay, thanks. Until next time, see you scouts.